Stuck in a dead-end job, Julie Powell embarked on a strange culinary quest, maybe strange to some. She decided to cook all 524 recipes from Julia Child's landmark cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking. And she decided to do it all in one calendar year, no small feat. Well, the results were much bigger than she ever imagined. It started with her daily blog. She chronicled the cooking. That turned into a best-selling book and now the hit movie, Julie and Julia. I'm going to try to flip this thing over now which is a rather daring thing to do. Before she changed everything. Before her, it was frozen bottom. food and can openers and marshmallows. Oh, Don't knock marshmallows. Give it a try. When you flip anything, you've just got to have the courage of your convictions, especially if it's a loose sort of mass, like, oh, that didn't go very well. Julie Powell joins us this morning on the Plaza. Great to have you with us. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. You had a couple of moments like that. The, oh, it didn't go very well when you were cooking all those <laughs> recipes, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Every now and again, yeah. This has to have been quite a whirlwind for you. We were just talking in the break uh, that you're kind of winding down all the press for the movie and the book right now, but then you start it up again when you go overseas. Absolutely, absolutely. There's always a new thing, it looks like. Did you ever think that it would get this big when you were writing this blog? Of course not. I mean, I started the blog back in 2002, and I didn't even really know what a blog was. I had no idea. Um, and it was just part of this project that I wanted to do to sort of save my life by right. cooking, and uh, the blogging was part of it. And I had no idea it was going to resonate with people the way it rounded up. It's, I have to say, it resonated with me. I read your, I read your book early on, and I've always, I've been, I'm a big fan of cooking, a big fan of the book. Who doesn't love Julia Child? Uh, but I can't imagine what that year was like. There were some really funny moments in the book. One that stood out to me is when you tried to make any of the bone marrow recipes. Right. <laughs> yeah, bone marrow, it was a mystery to me. I didn't understand how one gets it, how one uses it. It was quite, uh, we were running all over the city looking for trying marrow Trying to cut bones. it with a saw at one trying point, right? Trying to cut it with a jigsaw. Yeah, we were, we were young and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you learned a lot. You brought I your did. original book here that you used to cook all of this with. Uh, was there, what's your favorite recipe that you made out of here? Oh, it's so hard. There's so many wonderful ones. But I think sort of the heart of that book is the Beef Bourguignon, which you see made several times in the movie. It's such a beautiful, classic recipe. And I always think of Julia when I make it. Well, we're going to have some more beautiful, classic recipes from the book when we come back. Julie Powell, stay with us. Much more to come. Julia is sinking her teeth into another challenge. She's cooking up some of Julia's recipes for under 35 bucks. Is it really 35? Could we maybe give her a little more? It is Julia Child, after all, for the Chef on a Shoestring Recipes. A very special guest with us for this week, Chef on a Shoestring, Julie Powell joining us. She's the inspiration behind the hit movie, Julie and Julia. And today she's dishing out a three-course meal from the book that started it all for her, Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking. Now, normally, and Julie knows this, we give our Chef on a Shoestring 35 bucks to work with, but this is a French meal, right? <laughs> and in honor of what would be Julia Child's 97th birthday today, we thought we'd give Julie an extra 10 bucks for your chef on a shoestring oh. budget. So it's redeemable today only, okay. August 15th, <laughs> which means you've got $45, a huge budget, for this fantastic menu. Some of the things that you really liked, I know that, um, that were in the cookbook. Uh -huh. We're starting off with Roquefort turnovers, a fricassee of chicken, with paprika, uh -huh. which I don't That's think I've ever tried before. And then how can you go wrong with chocolate mousse? Yeah, absolutely. Count us all in for that. <laughs> so we're back now making these Roquefort turnovers. Mm -hmm. This is like heaven in a little pillow. Oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorite, favorite things ever. Um, and it's and it's simple. It's, I mean, fairly once, easy to make, pretty right? Pretty easy, pretty easy. Okay, yeah. so even a beginner to French cooking can do this because French I cooking so. can be a little daunting. I know, and, you know, people have this, you know, this idea that it's extraordinarily uh, expensive and, and difficult. But, Very detailed. But, and it, and it, a lot of it is. Julia was a detailed person, right. but uh, a lot of the recipes are, you know, pretty simple and use really simple ingredients. Okay. Um, so we're going to use this Roquefort cheese, and it's not, you know, it's nothing expensive. I didn't have pretty, to go to, you know. Pretty easy to find, too, which is nice. Pretty easy to find. I'm just going to mash it up a little bit. Okay. Um, so it's, and butter, which really seems to figure very prominently butter. in all of these butter, recipes. Butter is key. Butter is key. Did you overdose on butter at all during a, this year? A little bit. A little <laughs> bit. Uh, you know, I, I, I had to do without for a while afterwards because uh, it was a little much. So I'm going to just put butter and a couple of egg couple yolks. A couple of eggs. A uh, little, bit of, little okay. bit of cream. Just like a tablespoon or so. Okay. And some chives. Some chives. Yeah, just mix that in. There we go. And then alcohol. Always. A little, a little cognac. cognac is a good thing. Never hurts. No. Nope. And then we just mix this up. Yeah, we're just oh, going to mix it pepper. up. A little pepper. You've got to have the fresh ground gotta pepper. pepper. So as we're mixing this up and sort yeah. of getting ready to prepare the rest of this, yeah. uh, I have to ask you, in the book, it really struck me when you wrote to Julia Child and uh -huh. said, hey, I'm doing this project. Right. And one would think, oh, what a great project. Fantastic right. response. And even in the movie, 
She doesn't seem too excited. What was it like in real life? Well, you know, of course it's devastating, you know, to, to hear this when you come off of a year of doing what I had done, as I saw primarily as a tri tribute to this amazing, extraordinary woman who changed the world. I mean, she really did. Uh, but uh, so to find that she didn't see it in that light was, was distressing. But one of the great things that Julia taught me was that the person you have to be true to is yourself. And I know why I did what I did right. and how much she meant to me. And if she didn't see that, I'm sorry. Right. But but it's okay. It's okay. But it's, you know, it's great because for, for a generation of people who maybe did not know her, you've really introduced so many people to Julia Child, who, for, for many of us, you know, you grew up watching her on TV, and she is this icon, so it's yeah, great to is. have her to have her back in the mix now. We I talked know, a little bit about as we, um, yeah. I'll let you show us how to stuff these. Yeah, absolutely. As we, um, before we went to break, we talked a little bit about your, your favorite recipe, so just yeah. a tiny bit like this you told me before just the break, little, right? Just a little, little, little okay. bit. Into right our little in bit the middle. Of, our little bit of dough tiny, here. Tiny, tiny touch. Did you have a least favorite? The aspics, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, the aspics are high on the list of least favorite things ever. Uh, some of them were bad, but the poached egg in aspic, I could I could really easily do. Uh, do without? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're just going to fold them over. Fold them over so they look pretty like these other ones here. here like and that. then a little... Uh, a little bag. egg wash. As you finish those up, yeah. next to you is the chicken fricassee, which which yes. looks daunting to some people because there are so many ingredients, which is one of the reasons right. we're not really demoing it here today. But you right. say it's actually not that tough. It's No, it's, I mean, it takes time is all. Okay. You, know, you can't do it in four minutes. How did uh, you have time to cook 524 recipes <laughs> in 365 days? And you're working the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it, it was a challenge. But, uh, you know, we ate at midnight a lot. Uh, and that's just sort of... And then you get up and start planning the next menu at 6 a.m.? Uh, yep. Wandering yep. around New York trying to find odd pieces of meat. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know what? It was physically exhausting and it took a lot of time, but existentially I was feeling so much better about myself, you know? So you'd do it all again? I would... No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on to the next now. So we're going to throw those in. And yeah, this this is the chicken, chicken paprika. Uh, for, yeah, it's like... When we were growing up, my mom made a version of this that we called pink chicken. <laughs> and, it's, and it's so simple. I mean, just a regular old chicken. Right. You've got some paprika, some flour, onions, some carrots. Great looking you know, mushrooms and onions. Little, 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 little mushrooms and onions. Nothing expensive, nothing crazy. Which is key. And we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna try this now, as we mentioned. It's a little it's a little labor intensive to do here it on takes the show. A little time, yeah. But we've got the recipe on our website for Absolutely. you. Absolutely, and it's so good. So as everybody comes in, we're gonna start to dig in a little bit. We'll Absolutely. check your total. Now, of course, you're not in competition because we gave you a little extra money. Thank so you. the good news is you. you can only win today. <laughs> so the budget was forty five bucks. Let's How did Julie yeah. do? Forty-three eighty. Oh, oh, fantastic. God, you know, with Excuse time me. to I'm spare. Let's Come around the front. Julie, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. No, so no. great to have you. The chocolate mousse, too. I have to say I'm a big fan oh, of chocolate yeah. mousse. Is Look this one of your favorite the desserts from oh, the book? It's so beautiful, right? And it's, and it's, and again, so simple. It's so lovely to eat. These are great. Here, Julie, so great to have you here with us. Sure. Thanks for bringing some of your favorites. Thanks for bringing the book to life oh, as well. Thank you. Thank you. More information, of course.